Hi everyone, I hope you all are keeping well. Uh, in this video for 2022 Porsche Taycan, I will be talking about the Porsche Active Suspension Management System. So this one is an option for about $2,200 but worth uh, for sure. Uh, this comes as standard in your 4S Turbo and Turbo S but with the rear wheel Taycan, you need to add that option separately for $2,200. So let's talk in this video what Porsche offers with this. This is also called a uh, smart lift, which uh, gives your car four uh, chassis heights, uh, low, lowered, regular, and then there's a lift option. So I'll show you on the digital instrument cluster what uh, this, how this looks. So you might see this button uh, with the car. And if I am pressing it, what the car will do, it will start going up. So as you can see the uh, car icon there. and uh, on the my main screen it asks me that you want to save this location where you uh, try to you know uh, take your car to an upper level now if i save this then what the car will do is every time i drive to this location the car will know i'm at this particular location it will start uh, taking the car to the lift mode so that it can avoid uh, you know you can avoid scraping off your car from the bottom now this is a really good option because the car is pretty low it's a sports car so you might want to have this option you know maybe when you're driving through your on your driveway every day you might want the car to automatically know that you are at your home location or any other places you frequently visit you can save this in your Taycan it's a great option now let me also show you uh, in the menu how all of this works so if I go to my uh pcm and if i go to my settings if we go all the way down to vehicle now scrolling down there's the option for smart lift now by selecting activate smart lift what the car will do is it will remember every time i come to a specific location where i've already saved and i want the car to go up in height so the chassis height will automatically go up if and only if the important point to remember here is if my, my speed is below 20 miles per hour so if i'm driving uh, you know more than 20 miles per hour the car will give you a message that it cannot go down you might have to reduce your speed so uh Taycan only goes down uh, your chassis height only goes down if and only if your speed is below 20 miles per hour now there's also uh, an option for my saved locations which will show me all of my locations which i've saved in the past and if I'm driving to any of those locations, the car will go up in height. You can also delete your all safe locations from uh, selecting this option. Going back uh, to my home screen, and if I go to my vehicle mode, let's see here. So it's showing me my drive mode is normal, chassis is normal, chassis height. So that's the point we are talking about here. So if I go to my chassis height, you might see it shows up in the picture. The car is right now at lift. So if lift is selected and here also you might see the small car uh, with an upper arrow so that means it's at the highest point right now. now this is the highest level in the active suspension system of the Taycan this is called the lift mode and uh, you can save this one at various locations maybe on your driveway uh, the Taycan has the capability to go over 147 mm from the ground which is like a good enough height about six inches from the ground and it can help your car from scraping off and everything now let's uh, change this to regular you might see this car icon blinking and let's see the difference from outside the car this is the regular driving mode in the Taycan this one is automatically active when you are in the normal driving mode or in or you are in the sport driving mode and this gives a ground clearance of about 127 mm which is pretty decent um, in normal driving but if you have to go over the speed bumps this can scrape the car a little off if you're at a high speed coming back in the car let's select the option for lowered so if i select lowered the car is going down more and let's go out and check the height of the car here now this one is the lowered mode uh, for the suspension height this 
uh, takes the car a little down. It is about now 117 mm from the ground. Uh, but the car is pretty efficient on this one as well. Now the last option here is uh, of all is called low. So if I press this one, what the car will do is it will go more down. Uh, I'll show you the car from outside. It looks much more sportier, much more aggressive. And uh, what it does is like even if you're driving in your range mode. Uh, so if I'm moving my car to the range mode, automatically the car uh, defaults the chassis height to low. And even in the sport plus mode, uh, for an aggressive driving, it it takes the car to uh, the chassis height of low. Now that's the best of the all. This is the lowest mode. This is called low and on your uh, Taycan PCM. Uh, this one has a height of about 105 mm for the base Taycan. Uh, it's pretty low. It is default for the range and the Sport Plus mode. Uh, why Sport Plus mode? To make the car more uh, aggressive while you're driving and for the range because it gives you the most efficiency. So, uh, but just a pointer here for the saloons, uh, these are the heights what I was talking about, but for the cross turismo and the sport turismo, you can estimate about 10-15 mm higher even on the uh, lowest mode. So this is what these uh, Porsche Active Suspension Management System has to offer. It's a great, great option if you're buying this car and especially if you're buying a base Taycan, it's a must option I would say in order for you to avoid uh, you know scraping of your car from the bottom so a must go option $2200 and it's worth it i would say that and i hope you guys find this video informative so take care enjoy